Hey everybody, Chris here from Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip. And today I'm going to talk about our custom extruded aluminum enclosures. Protocase can build your completely customized electronic enclosure or part in two to three days in any quantity that you require. There are many common enclosure styles that each suit particular applications, and Cody went over all of these common enclosure styles in a video which we've got linked below. But today, I want to talk about three different enclosure styles that feature extruded aluminum. Aluminum extrusions are created through a process where aluminum material is forced through a die with a specific cross-sectional profile. A powerful ram pushes the aluminum through the die and it emerges from the die's opening. This forces the aluminum material to take the same shape as the die. So at Protocase, we currently stock two 6063 aluminum extrusions at 1U height and 2U height. So we don't actually make the aluminum extrusions here in our facilities. Instead, they're sourced from our metal supplier in six foot lengths. So if your next project does require you to fit a printed circuit board, custom extruded enclosures are a great way to go. These enclosures are made up of two aluminum extrusions, or side rails as they're sometimes called, along with front, rear, top, and bottom panels. Extrusions are great for creating PCB enclosures as the slots on the sides allow for easy mounting capabilities. We also offer a lot of customizable options for extruded enclosures, as your enclosures can be customized with a standard sheet metal faceplate. We showcase these styles on our website for both 1U and 2U profiles, and you can also mix these standard panel types with different combinations of side, top, and bottom panels to fit your requirements. So for an even more durable enclosure and a more sophisticated look, our hybrid enclosures are a good option. These enclosures use a combination of extruded sides, a sheet metal top and bottom panel, and a custom machine front and back plate. These machine panels offer increased sturdiness and offer features like pockets, grooves, and chamfers since they're cut on our CNC machines. You can also opt for extruded aluminum consulate enclosure. This type of enclosure combines a consulate's slope front with extruded front and rear panels. So with extruded consulates, you can mount circuit boards, but it's also ideal for electronics or other devices that need access to a 30 or 60 degree slope surface. The slope front of the consulate is great for LCD screens, acrylic panels, or switches and knobs that need to be easily viewed or accessed. So something to remember when designing is that we use number six thread forming screws for attaching the front and rear panels to the extruded enclosure. Fasteners can be installed in any of the enclosure's panels, as long as the fastener doesn't interfere with the extrusion once the enclosure is assembled. Aluminum extrusions come in a bare aluminum finish. All of these extruded sides can be finished with powder coat or chem film. We don't recommend finishing with anodizing though because of the nature of the extruded metal, and the finish doesn't look very good. The sheet metal or CNC panels can be finished with powder coat, chem film, anodizing, or with a grain or vibratory finish. You can also add graphics, labeling, or permanent marking to your sheet metal or CNC panels via a digital print, silkscreen, machined engraving, or dot peening. Check out our website for a full list of dimensions on our 1U and 2U extrusions, along with design resources that will help you with your next custom sheet metal project. Be sure to also check out our in-house CAD software, Protocase Designer, that contains templates for our extruded aluminum enclosures. Remember that we always have our engineering and design services team in-house that can help you with your next custom extruded enclosure design. So thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you back again here next week with another Proto Tech Tip.